Are you looking for a free alternative to Elasticsearch and Algolia? Let's explore Maybe Search, a free and open source lighting fast search engine for your apps. It seamlessly integrates with any website or application, offering full text search capabilities that go beyond simple exact match queries. Besides apps and e-commerce websites, you can use it to search across media, knowledge bases, databases, and various tools. Currently in beta, it also offers AI-powered search features that understand context, allowing you to find relevant content even when there are no exact word matches. To start using Maili Search, the cloud version is at $30 a month, up to 50,000 searches, and provide a 14 days free trial. You can deploy it for free by following the self-hosted installation guide in the documentation. For an even simpler installation process, you can use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy it seamlessly on your server or the cloud provider of your choice, we handle the installation, backups, updates and ongoing maintenance, so you can focus on building and scaling your project without any hassle. To start using Maili Search on our platform, head to ls.io and click on login. Then deploy my first service, search for Maili Search, select, then choose between the different cloud providers, it will change the price, or the last option which is free, if you have an existing server you can use it. For this video I will use Hetzner, then you can choose between different regions and service plans, then next, adjust more advanced settings, different level of support, the first one is included by default, and once you are ready, hit the create service button. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email with some instruction on what to do. But we are together, so let's start by going to step 2. Click here to get the password. To copy the password, in this case it's an API key. Let's copy it to our clipboard with this button and follow the admin UI link. But in this case, we are using an API and the link we are following is an example app. It's asking us to enter our admin API key. This is what we have in our clipboard. It's okay if it's leaked because I will delete the instance after and click on go. We arrive on this lovely demo application showing you a list of movie and you can search inside it. Before trying it, let's have a quick look on what we have. On the top, you have an ad for Mary Search Cloud, which is a fair game, it's normal they do it. And what I really like with this sample app is that the repository is public. This is the demo movies from Mary Search on GitHub. And if you look at the code and the example, you can understand how you can reproduce it and integrate it inside your project. Even if we will see later that you can use uh, the documentation, it's good to have working examples you can take inspiration from. All right, so let's try to type a random movie name, let's say Harry Potter, and you can see it's finding it very quickly. Oh, we have the time here on the top, time span 10 milliseconds, so you have the result in real time. And if I break a bit the string, it's still finding it because it's not only based on a string comparison, but the most accurate result. So it's using this public list of movies. Uh, we have Harry Potter, we have all of them, I guess, with the picture. And you have currently highlighted what matched with our query. So let's go again and tap Philosopher. One of Harry Potter movies has it too. So we can find it too on the Philosopher's Stone. But let's say we made a mistake and we typed Philosopher. Still, it's finding it because Philosopher and Philosophers are quite close. Currently, it's finding it through the overview field, but also the title one. Let's try something else, for example, a number 12. And you can see it's finding it from the ID. For this one, it's also the ID, but also from the overview, it's able to search in any field you want. And this very quickly. This is one of the most simple examples, searching different fields inside a database. But what is great with Maili Search is they have ton of repositories to show you what you can do with it. For example, the demo one that is linking you to other demos. So the one we've made must be where to watch, or it, I think it's the song adapted to uh, movies. Let's open the e-commerce one, live preview. And we have this lovely e-commerce website, mostly related to hair, I guess. So let's type hair. 
and we have things related to hair. We can see it's mainly in the title of the products. I can see there are scissors and it's finding me all the scissor. It's not a concern if I type it in the plural form or not, it will still find them. And again, if I do a mistake, it will still find scissor. Let's get back to our movie. Let's say we want to implement it. How do we do it? On the top right, you have this question and it's a help center to tell you what you can do to integrate it. So either you explore their GitHub repositories, it's what we already did with the examples, so you can check the code and see how to integrate it easily. Then you have the Discord option. This one, I guess it's the final stage. Or if you have a specific question before integrating it into your project, and you want to ask it to the team. And then a last, but I think it's where you usually start, is in the documentation. The documentation is lovely, very modern UI and contain a lot of info. What we need in the getting started is the SDK. Then you choose the language of your backend or whatever you use to write your API. I will choose JavaScript. You arrive on the related repository, mainly search JS. In the readme, you have all the information, how to install it, so npm i maili search, how to run it, so it's what we already have, we have self-hosted it, and then the code to run it. So you can see it's pretty easy. You create a new maili search, host, it will be the address, the URL of your uh, maili search instance, the API key, you have it, and you add it inside your project and try to add documents so everything that a maili search will be able to search into and based on those documents you will be able to perform search but before going too fast let's see what are documents the documentation is here to help you with all the different things that you need so basically you add something from your database and it re requires an id to be sure that it's either added or updated and then once you search something the example here is very simple it will search in all the fields but you can see in the documentation how to add search parameters so you can add an offset a limit the number of hits per pages add filters whatever you need to do the best search based on your use case to take a wise decision between using maili search or another search engine solution they have this comparison table where you can see all the different features compared to other uh, alternatives available on the market so here are the sdks but you also have different configuration based on the document so based on what you do you might prefer something other or something else there is no one size fits all solution, so it really depends on what you are trying to achieve. But I guess Maili Search might probably work for you. This feature is still in experimental, in beta mode, but it's very interesting to know that they are doing something with OpenAI. So you can add your OpenAI API key and it will use AI to find search results not only based on the semantic, but also on the context. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Maili Search with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video available here.